Okay, this is an instructional video on the use of a Fluke A808A uh, benchtop digital multimeter. Um, this actually behaves just as any other uh, digital multimeter, handheld or benchtop, uh, but it is worth uh, going through anyway. Uh, there's actually a power switch on the very back of this. I'll turn it around. Uh, and that power switch needs to be in the on position before the front buttons are going to work. Okay, there's also a uh, power switch at the front. Okay, so um, once it's on, uh, you can choose what you want to measure. You can measure DC voltage, AC voltage, uh, DC current, or AC current, or ohms. It has a uh, diode or and uh, short finder, uh, and then some other uh, commands that you probably uh, won't need to use. All right, now the tricky part to using a multimeter is simply uh, deciding which place to connect your probes. Now, if you read carefully, you can actually tell pretty closely uh, what you need. Um, you always are going to connect your common point where it says low. All right, so you'll have your black probe or your black banana clip connected to low. And then you simply need to decide whether you're measuring current or anything else. Uh, in other words, voltage, uh, ohms, uh, or resistance, uh, diode, uh, and then short finder. Uh, that connects to this piece up here if you're doing any of those. And if you're connecting current, you're going to uh, choose most likely the 10 amp connection down here. And the way that you can tell that this is good is that when you measure current, you need to put the uh, multimeter in series in the circuit, so that way the current travels through it and it can measure the current. Um, and you can tell on this multimeter in particular that you need to connect from the 10 amp to here because this line defines a series connection, right? Okay, so uh, that's really all there is to using this uh, benchtop digital multimeter is actually quite similar to a handheld multimeter and uh, you're welcome to watch my other video about a handheld multimeter to get a sense of what to do that with that.